action. That was good, right? That was good. Here, let me grab my water. Ugh. Water socks with Tom and Adore. That was a good run, dude. That was a brilliant run. I'm proud of you. You did that in some hot weather. That was a lot hotter than 73 degrees. It sure, yeah. It, sure it got hotter like later it. in the day. Um, There's like something <clears throat> in my water. Ew. What was it? I don't want to know, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just... Yeah, I don't want to know. No? That was That was weird. So, I'm here with the Dorian Deck, and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm a Dorian Deck. Wow, look at that, done. So, uh, we, we went to man camp together. Right. And that was, <laughs> that was awesome, right? I mean, it was through uh, an organization called Mosaic. It's my church that I go to. I had never been to Mosaic, and Tom convinced me to go to Mosaic, and then go on this $200 trip into the mountains <laughs> for a weekend, and I was like, YOLO, let's do it. And it was awesome. It was awesome. And it was my first time, too. I've, ne- I've never been right. to man camp. So I really trust Tom, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, think, I think what was so cool about man camp was, like, the theme, right? It was, it was called the art mm-hmm. of being. The, uh, the art the of art manliness. The art of manliness. The art of manliness. So cool. I thought- it was uh, how to be a brother, a lover, a leader, and a fighter, right? right? And we, I felt like I learned a lot. I learned nothing at all. <laughs> JK. No, it was, it was filled with wisdom. Um, and you don't con- particularly consider yourself Christian or anything like that. I mean, I, kind of, I guess I was kind of raised in that sense, but yeah. I've got some Christianity like things about me, but I'm, I, I'm like not your moral, committed. Like your morals are in line with right. it, but you wouldn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. And I just wanted to talk cause you know, Hank, one of the pastors gave a talk on the, um, the art of manliness and, and going from boy to man. Right. So let's recap on what boy to man really means. I mean, what did you take from it? Um, well, what I remember from Boy to Man right now, it has a lot to do, he literally would, uh, he had like the whiteboard, right? Yeah, yeah. And he had boy and everything that a boy would do in certain situations, and man, everything a man would do in certain situations. Yeah, so he split it up into two halves on the whiteboard, so you could really see, oh, this is how a boy thinks, this is how a man thinks. Mm-hmm. And and for me, I, I really connected with that, because I feel like we hang around a lot of boys. Um, and I feel like we slip into that ourselves, you know, and it talked about how a man doesn't puff up his chest and try to appear to be a certain way, (laughs) doesn't appear to be a certain way. Rather, he helps other men and he helps other people. He helps to lift other people up rather than himself. I think that's a huge part of being a leader is instead of trying to manage and like micro focus on everyone and tell people what to do. It's more of a way of like inspiring people to do what they want to do on their own yeah. and leading them in that sense. There's a really cool picture on the internet that's instead of like, you know, like a guy on a chariot and the guy's lifting him, like telling him what to do. It's like he's lifting the chariot with them and he's telling him like, let's go this way. You know, like he's doing yeah. it with them. Yeah. I um, think I've seen something like that. It's and that's, like, that's a manly thing to do. I mean, I guess the overall question, the reason we're doing this video is what does it mean to be a man nowadays? Um, well, I feel like it's so muddled up on what yeah. a young man should be. I feel like there's all these different opinions. Well, what I found interesting about Man Camp was it wasn't just the lessons that we learned in the talks that told us what a man is like. Something I really took from Man Camp was the actual competition that we had and the sleep deprivation that we had throughout the entire weekend. And when that was happening and we were tired and annoyed, our character was starting to come out of our boyhood of just being like, well, this sucks, like, blah, 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 having this shitty attitude. And then we learned somehow just, like, we're going to put ourselves in this moment. We're going to, like, we became men, I feel like, in that weekend in a certain way. There was a a part of us that we learned that, like, made another part of us go away, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And, I mean, not everyone can get away to man camp. So let's talk about what we can do in our daily lives to to become more of what we consider a man. Because what I consider, like, what are words that you would use to describe, like, the man that you want to be or the man that should exist in today's society? Austin. Austin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not, you're not wrong. We I have mean, a friend named Austin, uh, who we went to man camp with, actually, and he's a really cool dude. He's very He's cool. a man. Yeah, he's absolutely. What a definition absolutely. of a man would I, be. We were, like, complaining on how tired we were and everything, and he's, he's like, I paid, like, he's like, I paid $200 to be here. I'm not going to complain. Like, yep. that doesn't make sense. Yep. And we were all like, oh, we feel Good stupid. point. Good point. <laughs> that was a big learning point for us. And, like, yeah. I, we both, everyone in our tribe, we had 30 people in our tribe. Everyone in our tribe did something past that point of their character. They're like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. And then they did something. Like, I did, I did a two-mile run at 530 in the morning after... 
playing the video game competition, the stupid thing I didn't want to do until two in the morning. Yeah. And just like sucking it up. That's a huge thing. It's like having that positive attitude that's like, I can do this instead of I can't do this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even when you feel like you can't. Yeah. That's a very man thing. I think it is. I think it is. I grew up in a house where my parents would always tell me if I had a problem that they couldn't fix or I was just being a little bitch, for lack of a better word. They would just be like, well, get over it. Right. And that pissed me off to no end. But it taught me a huge lesson in life, which is like, you know what? I'm just going to deal with this problem. I'm going to shut up. No one should. No one needs to hold my hand through it, yep. and I should just do it and get it done. And whenever I have a problem and I talk to my mom on the phone, she's always, and I learned this from her, and she's always just like, well, it, it is what it is. You just you deal with it because you can't do anything else except for deal with it and move right. forward. Um, I feel like another part of being a man in today's society is not being a victim of <clears throat> things that you can control, yeah. um, like putting the blame for your problems on other people. When really you can take steps in your own life to make your life better. Right, right. Rising above instead of right. playing the victim card in the, the, exactly. the woe is like, me. It's more like taking responsibility for your own problems or like whatever in life that you don't like. Mm-hmm. Taking responsibility for that. And even if you can't control it, having that feeling inside of you like, okay, this is my responsibility. This is on me. This isn't on, you know, something surrounding me on externally. And so, that doesn't mean to put everything on you. No. But I mean people it's not like you're a superhero. Like you But you can take responsibility more than a lot of people do. And that's something that I've really taken pride in learning how to do Mm -hmm. more more and more as I grow up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and just if I feel more in control in that sense. Yeah. 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 I mean in summation I think a man should uh, like what qualities should should we emulate as as young men uh that maybe you don't see so often. Um like for me, I think I think leadership in the way that you were talking about, where you lift others up, is incredibly important. I think I think um, humbleness and willing to lift, like humbleness just push other people. Like we've been doing this running thing, where you're trying to he's trying to get me to run fifty miles in this month, and you're always pushing me. We went on, we went on a three mile run today, in the heat. In the heat, and it was it was good. We did a good pace, and yeah. it was because you were pushing. That was me. your fastest five k. It was. It was. It was. It was. Um, I think respect. Man. And talk honesty about respect. Yes. Are two huge things. Yes. I think I mean you're pretty aware of it because we had the boy to man talk, but like when you go to a party or something and you see that alpha guy who's going around to all the girls and going around and doing all that that stuff, do you know what I'm talking about? Just that that quintessential alpha male that you see at parties and at school and we've all had that in our lives. Uh, usually that translates, and I'm not trying to like put anyone down or anything, but usually that translates to that person being insecure and wanting to show off their best side and a certain side of them right. that they um, they ref- they reflect they want to reflect, mm-hmm. although even if it's not there or if it's lacking of, you know what I mean. So, I mean, if you were watching this video, I'd give it a thumbs up if you agreed with that. <laughs> because, <laughs> no, because I think it's really, really true. I really do. And whenever I watch something, I always thumb up whenever I agree with something that happens. And we all have alpha males in our lives. And, and as, as a young guy, when I'm feeling insecure, the, the, the thing that I want to do most is to show that I'm not insecure. And I think that is just a red flag right there. Yeah. And people see your heart and they go, oh, this person's damaged. And... Look at them try so hard to be liked by people. Maybe that's another point is to just be yourself as a man yeah. and not try and be some other man. Yeah, so that's that's what it means to be a man, huh? Leadership, humbleness, confidence. Respect, honesty. Lifting other people up. Right. Having integrity. Yep, I yeah. agree. When you should be yourself. When you should be yourself. The best version of yourself, right? Of course. Oh, of course. I'm all about the best version of yourself. But yeah, I mean, be yourself in the sense of like, those qualities that are great about you, pull those out. Yeah. Even if they go against what society thinks. Yeah. You know? All right. So how do you want to end this thing? Fuck bitches, get money, shit! Hey! Uh, maybe not that no. way. Um, I don't think that... I think I think we should just d- do it and idea. end it the manliest way we can. It's just like a firm handshake, a head nod, and then we just leave. Good talk, sir. Good talk. Cheers. Goodbye. Think I'm getting lost for a while